every day trader on earth wants to find the perfect entry for their trade. The issue is how do you find that perfect entry? Well, I got good news for you because in this video, I'm going to show you five of the best, most common and highest success rate entry points on any trade, on any indice, on any Forex pair, on any cryptocurrency. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Jeff Bezos, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we talk about everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. So when you're day trading the right way and you wanna use high leverage, you want a tight stop loss. You don't want the trade to go in drawdown and have to wait for your take profit to get hit or the trade goes backwards on you. So these are strategies that I use on a consistent basis, regardless of market condition, to find the best entries for my trades with the highest success rate and highest probability of the trade going in my direction with the tightest stop loss. So there are a few things that I would like you to get set up on your chart. I'm not going to go through these and all the settings and everything. You can find that in my other videos. But what I want you to do is add three moving averages, the 21, the 50, and the 200. These are all smoothed moving averages. You can find them in the indicator section. There's actually one called three smoothed moving average by Hamid Safi. The next indicator that I want you to put up on your chart is the RSI. This one I do, however, want you to change the settings. I want you to get rid of the 30 line and I want you to get rid of the 70 line and you're going to change both of these to 50 so you can see where the middle range is exactly and only use it trading long above the 50 and short below the 50. We will never be looking at overbought and oversold. We're just looking at the momentum and the direction of the price. The next thing that I want you to do if you're not good at visually seeing this is put up an indicator called engulfing candles and basically it shows you every single engulfing candle that's up on the chart. It's called the engulfing candle indicator by R-M-U-N-O-Z, Ramunos. If you're already good at seeing engulfing candles with your eyeballs, you don't need that indicator. And instead, I want you to put up the stochastic RSI. One thing to keep in mind with the stochastic RSI, if you are trading a 15 minute time frame or higher, you can leave the standard settings, 3, 3, 14, and 14. If, however, you are trading lower than the 15 minute time frame, I want you to change the stochastic length to Eight. When looking at your chart and doing your analysis, I want you to do your analysis on the one hour time frame. I want you to get rid of all indicators, just hide them for the moment so that you can actually do some analysis on the price without having any clutter and chaos with indicators. Now this is US 30 on the one hour time frame. What I want you to do is mark up every single peak that you see and every single multiple touch resistance and support zone. This is very easy to do with your eyeballs. All you have to do is just find where the price is rejecting and put up these levels. You don't wanna to look too far back because that price action is no longer relevant. This is what's going on in the current time frame. Now I promised you five different entry strategies. These are a divergence, rejection with an engulfing candle, support and resistance levels, double tops and double bottoms, and the last one is going to be a break and a retest. A lot of these tie in together hand in hand and you can use them along with each other, but I'm just gonna go over these separately really, really quickly. So without even looking at the RSI, just looking at the price action, you can see right here on US 30, we had a low, a lower low, and then the price rejected up. Drawing a quick trend line right here along this shows us a clear and concise downtrend. So why did the price go up? It's because the price lost momentum at this support and resistance zone. So once the price rejected off of this, what we can do is go and look at the RSI and right here for this level, you can see that there was a divergence in the RSI. The price made a lower low and yet the RSI is making a higher low creating a divergence. So if you look at this side by side, you can see price going down, RSI going up, there should be a rejection at this point. That is going to be your first and most used entry point for any one of your trades. If you're trading support and resistance zones and you see a divergence like this with a rejection, go for it. Go for a long position. I know it's dangerous trading counter trend because we were in a downtrend, but that is a pretty clear and concise entry point for you. The next entry point that I wanna to talk to you guys about is engulfing candles. One of my favorite strategies to use is a three line strike. If you have not seen that video, it is right here. But essentially, you're looking for a momentum move down and then a big fat rejection with an engulfing candle 
preferably eating the previous three candles. So imagine it like this. We had this long series of red candles, a long wick, and then an engulfing candle. This engulfing candle almost ate all three of these down moves, and this is a perfect three line strike, rejecting off of this big support zone, pushing to the upside. So you could have easily just held this for three candles, which is three hours and made 180 points off of this one because you'd be targeting this next resistance zone. Now looking at the latest previous highs and the lows and support and resistance levels is where we get into trading support and resistance zones. You can see that we rejected off of here. We had that divergence right here. So we rejected halfway at this previous low and now we're trading above this support line. We also had this big engulfing candle here. So basically what you can do is just target in between these support and resistance zones. If a trade is going in this direction, you know it's probably gonna go to here. It, you don't know for sure if it's going to break through, but you could be almost positive that it's going to go to this level before it does something else. So trading off of support and resistance zones is very, very important, especially if you're holding a trade for more than a few hours. Again, I want you to pair a few of these strategies together. So when you're looking for a long position right here, assuming it's gonna go to the next level of resistance, check the RSI and see if we're trading above the 50 level. You can see right here, we actually are above the 50 level, so this could potentially go up to the next resistance zone. Meaning that if you take a long position right now on US 30, you could potentially make 240 points just targeting the next zone. And obviously your stop loss is going to be below the previous low right here. So with proper risk management, keeping this ratio at about one to two, make sure you don't over leverage, but this could be a really successful trade for you. Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about is the break and the retest. The break and the retest is one of the greatest confirmations that you can have when trading off of support and resistance zones. You can see that the price right here broke above this zone, came down really, really hard and rejected off of it with this big fat bullish candle. This break and then this hard retest is a clear indication that you can easily go in on a long position, again, targeting the next support and resistance zone. All of these moves, when you're going long, make sure you check the RSI and know that it's above the 50 level when going in on a long position. If it is below the 50 level and you're looking for short positions, you are also good to go. Now, all of this is essentially naked trading. You are not using any indicators except for the RSI and drawing up these support and resistance zones. But if you want a better idea of why the price is rejecting off of certain zones, that's why I keep the moving averages up because you can see as the moving averages are all swooping up, we are in a clear uptrend, rejecting off the 21 period moving average. And if you get a double confluence like this, rejecting off of a solid support and resistance zone, as well as rejecting off the 21 moving average on an uptrend, man, that is money in the bank every single time. And again, as price breaks through support and resistance levels, and you can see it also breaking through previous moving averages, you can easily target the next subsequent moving average, which is also a key level of support and resistance. This is the fundamentals of trading price action. You're not looking at what the banks are doing. You're not looking at what the news is doing. You're looking at the price and trading the price as it goes up and down with other confluences like divergences, like rejections, like bullish or bearish engulfing candles, trading off of resistance and support zones, as well as a break and a retest to give you confirmation to know that that price is going to go up or down. All of this is essentially the basis of all of my strategy videos. On this channel, I don't make a single video of a strategy that does not work and that does not work for me. So I highly encourage you to check out the entire playlist of all the Forex and trading strategies that we have on this channel. Choose the one that fits your personality type the best. If you're a one minute scalper, I got a ton of information for you. If you're a long-term position holder and you wanna go with the entire trend, I've got videos for you. So definitely check out all the playlists, all for free, because I think the education on day trading and getting people rich and wealthy and independent and quitting their jobs 
is my duty to give to you guys for free. And like I said, if you really, really wanna do one minute scalping and that's your cup of tea, check out this one minute scalping video that I did that is absolutely amazing. And if you guys like the way that I teach and you wanna see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking this button right here. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Seriously, there's like 752 comments saying that I look like Jeff Bezos.